To share a Google file in the upper right hand corner, click on the share option. Then this window will open up. There are three different sections we're going to discuss. The top section, which is where you type in specific email addresses or group emails to share. The bottom section, which doesn't require email address, it's general access. And then the settings option up here. Share settings are so important to make sure you have them right, especially if you have confidential information in your files. So in this top section, you'll see we can type in someone's name here. You'll notice that I already see someone's name here because I share with her quite often. So I'm going to go ahead and just select her name. Then I see the options here. We're over to the right. I'm going to click on this drop down and I see three different options. Viewer is the most basic rights. It allows her just to view my file. Can't make any edits or changes or anything. Just viewing access. Commenter allows her to suggest edits for my document and make comments on it, but she actually can't edit the file itself. I have a video that goes into more details on commenter options. And the third option, which is editor, gives her the most rights to my document. She can actually type on it, delete things, add images. She can change the file name. She can even add additional people to edit this file. I will show you how you can prevent that last option from happening at the end of this video. And then the final thing you see is add expiration. This is great if you're only wanting to give access to somebody for a couple days and you don't want to remember to come back to the file and remove their access. So right now this shows that her access will expire March 3rd. Maybe I only want to give her a couple days to edit or be a commenter or even a viewer on this file. So I'm going to click on this little edit pencil and then I'm going to use the calendar and I'm going to just give her until tomorrow. So once tomorrow hits at 11.59 p.m., she will lose these editing rights to this file. The last option is to notify someone. So if you have this box checked, you can type a message in here, and once you hit the send button, it'll automatically send her an email with the link to this file. Maybe you already have an email constructed to her and all you wanna do is copy this link so you would uncheck this box then you can click the copy link, paste that right into the email, and click on share. So I'm going to go ahead and click share right now, because I want to show you one final option that you have. Let's get back on our share again. Is when you're in here, you can actually transfer the ownership of this file, because maybe you want to make her the new owner of this file, and you just become an editor or viewer, or don't even have access to it at all anymore. So you would click on that, an option will pop up letting you know what you're actually doing. You would click yes and she will get an email to accept the new ownership. I'm going to click no though for the purpose of this video. And then the final thing you would notice is you could actually remove her access. So we've given her access. We can also come up here, click in and we can add another name here and we can give this person just viewer rights. And I'm going to unsend. I don't want to send an email. Click share. So now you'll notice when I click on the share settings, she has editor rights, this person has viewer rights. So you have so many different options up here. Let's look at this bottom section now for general access, because this what we're looking at is a weekly template. So I actually want to be able to allow anyone with the link, because I want parents to see this and everything. So I'm going to click on anyone with the link and give them viewer rights. So now they are not even required to log in with a Google address to view this file. Let's look at the other option, which is Clark County School District. So if you're using a school district email address, you will see this option. This you need to be very careful with because right now it's allowing anyone with a CCSD email address to view this file if they have the link. If you click on this drop down, notice here I do have the option for must have the link to access. If you choose this option, can find in search results, that means anyone in CCSD, students too, can search the word weekly template and they would find my document file. So be very careful. You need to be very careful anytime you're giving anyone with the link or anyone in CCSD rights to view files or edit because if you have any confidential student information in there, this really should be on your option for restricted. And the final settings we want to look at is up here in the upper right hand corner. 
I had talked about earlier in the video how by giving someone edit rights, you allow them to share your file with other people and to edit the permissions that you have given to this file. So that's something you want to be very careful with. If you want to make sure you're the person that knows only who has access to this, you want to uncheck this box. So you're the only one who can add new people or take away people's rights. This last option is for viewers and commenters. Um, maybe you do not want to allow them to download, print, or copy, so you would uncheck this box. I use this option for some of my tutorials because I don't want someone to make a copy of the tutorial and refer back to that copy instead of referring to my original one where I'm constantly making updates to them. So these are two good options that you definitely want to make sure that you keep in mind with your share settings. Again, be very careful, especially when you have confidential information, to make sure that your share settings are set correctly. As well as if you're trying to share with parents a community letter, um, weekly templates, that you need to make sure that you give that access to anyone with the link because parents don't have a CCSD email address. Once you're done, just click on the Done option and you can come back to the Share button at any time to double check your share settings or to make changes. Keep in mind the share options are also available for folders.